Piscina, the Spanish word for pool. Ugh. and welcome to another beautiful day here in Chile. I am nice and warm because we are in the house and we've got the fireplace going. It's a good morning, but we've got some fun activities for today. Let's go. Wait, after I eat this. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're at the church right now and because we have special guests from Peru, uh, we made this special dish. It's called Curanto. And it has all of these flavors mixed together, but it also has some corn in it, potatoes, some meats, and rice, and assortment of other things. So what do you do then when you take people from Peru and you go to Linares? Step number one, go to the Mercado. Show them around, see if there's something they want to bring back. Show them fish. Pretty fun stuff, they love it. All the things here are so distinct and so different uh, from Peru, and especially for me from the United States. They're looking at the ponchos because it's so much colder here than it is in Lima. But it's pretty fun to watch them look. These things are pretty cool. These are for lemons, and it's to extract the juices, but it's Mapuche, and it's so practical. So if you come here, take a look for one of these. We use lemons all the time here in Chile, and it makes so much sense to squeeze the rest of the juice out with this thing. Thank you, Mapuche. The second place you have to take visitors if you come to Linares is La Plaza. It's so beautiful, and I think they spent the entire day cleaning up because I don't see a leaf on the ground, and they're falling like crazy right now. And the sun is just, it's just perfect. It really is. And next to the plaza, it's the church. You've got to visit the church while you're next to the plaza. <laughs> right, so it turns out that, uh, well, it was too much walking for them. Um, they really like to walk, but not very much. So we saw the plaza, we went to the Mercado. If I could, I would go into the church as well, but uh, they were tired. So um, we came to where they're staying because, well, they want to use the restroom. And um, we are here right now checking out El Bosque. I've only been here to eat. It's a really nice place to eat. Really, really fancy, really, really good food. Um, but it's also a place that you can stay. And it's just outside of Linares. And um, I was just inside. They have all of the um, fires going, so they put them on for uh, their guests, um, which are our pastors from Peru right now. And it's like a little house back there. You can see one there. But they also have, uh, I laugh because I was going to say a really nice pool, which it is a really nice pool, but it's winter time, so it looks like this. There is no way, even if it was really, really nice outside, that I would jump in that pool. But um, it is a really nice place to stay. I'm really impressed by it. Let's go check out some more, huh? tour, restaurant, houses, trees, jungle gym, more houses, pool, 
Sun. House. That's a 360 tour. So if you are new to this channel, I hope that you've realized by now that I love Chile. I really do. Every country has its problems. And I think everyone in that country knows that there are problems. And well, I'm from the United States and there are a lot of problems there as well. And there always have been. So I try and highlight all of the awesome parts of Chile. And I'm not gonna say much negative because there's not much to say that's negative. I really enjoy Chile and I hope I can live here for a long time. But an update on that. I'm still waiting on my uh, permanent residency. I am getting a little nervous because it's been since last October, but I've been told that the paperwork is so backed up. It's backed up for, uh, what is it, 80,000 people applied this last year to be a resident of Chile, which is, I don't know, 100% more than it was the year before, something like that. But a lot of people want to live here in Chile, and I can totally understand why. If you are thinking about coming to Chile, though, I know that a lot of you have reached out to me, and thank you for that. I really appreciate that, and I really hope to meet many of you um, someday soon, because a lot of you want to come to Linares now, after, well, lots and lots of videos about Linares. But it is a really cool place, and I hope that I can connect with you if you do come here. And uh, there's a lot of places that I would take you if I could. And if I have the time, I will. But I guarantee, if I meet you, we will have a true cow beer. <laughs> the other thing is, I have really genuinely missed YouTube. A lot of you have been saying in the comments, uh, we've missed you, we've missed that in our routine. I have missed it too, so, so much. And I think that's why I haven't been sleeping very well lately because I am so excited to think of new ideas and to do these ideas. And I don't know if you've noticed, but I did my first ever full color graded uh, video yesterday. And I liked how it turned out. What do you think? Leave it in the comments below. I'm trying out the color grading. I'm trying to find my style with that color grade. Um, but so far, so good. And really, this YouTube thing is an awesome hobby to me. I really, really, really enjoy it. So it's fun for me to try out different uh, color grades. And if you have any opinions of um, what works well for you, if you're a YouTuber out there or know more than me, which you do if you've ever color graded before, then leave it in the comments below or reach out to me on Facebook. All of my social media links are linked below. Check it out in the description. Reach out to me. I'm willing to listen. I'm learning too. So a couple of years ago, I went to Peru and I asked the Peruvians what they thought was different between Chile and Peru. And basically, the biggest thing is driving. And here, people obey the rules so much better than they do, especially in Lima. In Lima, people drive like maniacs. They're crazy drivers there. Just weaving in and out of traffic, honking a ton. And then uh, the other thing, which is obvious, is uh, the Pisco Sours. If you've ever been to Chile, or if you've ever been to Peru, you've probably tried a Pisco Sour. They're one of my favorite drinks in all of Chile. And the battle is which one is better, which one isn't better, blah, blah, blah. But um, the biggest thing they said was definitely that. And the second thing was how cold it is here. They're in winter too, but it's not like here. It's really cool here. And in Santiago, it's fairly cold, but Linares, even colder. So they talked about that as similarities and differences. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video for today. Check out my social media links below. And can't wait to see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. And we'll see you guys next time. But for now, ciao Pascal. We made this special dish. It's called curanto. And